Team Mueller is scrambling after Russia gives this brutal ultimatum by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Well, it's finally happened. Uh, someone has placed Robert Mueller right on the hot seat. Russia is agreeing to cooperate with uh, Robert Mueller's witch hunt. However, uh, in order to do so, they're asking to see proof of this so-called widespread Russian collusion. I uh, Wouldn't you? Absolutely. You're asking for proof. From Washington Examiner, Russia's ambassador to the U.S. on Wednesday said the Trump administration needs to provide proof that Russian officials meddled in the 2016 election or stop talking about it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Just that alone, right? As for interference, to paraphrase a Chinese proverb, one cannot make a tiger of one a hundred mice. Ambassador Anatoly Antonov said, Antonov or whatever, said according to Russia's state-owned news service, service task. No matter how many accusations, the key demand is to furnish evidence, right? Furnish some evidence. The U.S. wants to announce a verdict first and then have a conversation, Antonov added. Yeah, they want to announce the verdict and then have a conversation. Before they show any proof, they already have the verdict. Russia has also been blamed for organizing an assassination attempt against a former Russian official living in England, but in that case, Antonov noted UK officials at least uh, hedged by uh, saying it is highly likely Russia was involved. Yeah, they set it up and they're blaming Russia. I mean, what a crock. Everybody can see through it. But now uh, some just say that Russia did interfere in U.S. domestic affairs, he said. This is total nonsense. Russian President Vladimir Putin put it clearly at the joint press conference in Helsinki. Putin rejected the accusation that Russia tried to influence the 2016 presidential election just days after special counsel Robert Mueller indicted the 12 Russian officials for stealing Democratic emails and leaking them. Trump also downplayed Russia's involvement during his summit meeting with Putin in Helsinki, but on Tuesday walked back those comments and said he does trust U.S. intelligence officials who say Russia was meddling. I mean, I don't know why he did that, you know, walk back on those comments. Uh, look, Russia's correct. Show us the proof. And Trump was correct when he was in Helsinki. He was saying, show us the servers before you start making accusations. You can't just make accusations without any proof. Come on now. I mean, what is, what kind of, what kind of a system is that? And, and, and Putin is correct on that. And why should Trump walk it back? Where's the servers? Show us some kind of proof. You're just indicting people willy-nilly and saying, oh, it's the Russians, it's the Russians to keep up the narrative. I mean, really? Give us a break. We're smarter than that. You know, nobody changed anybody's mind. So give it a rest, Mueller. And, and, and Putin is absolutely correct. Show us the proof. And why should Trump take back? Yeah, he does have trust in the intelligence agencies. Yeah, but he's also saying there are a few corrupt individuals there, and he is calling out the corrupt individuals. So why did they say he's walking back? No, he's walking back in general saying that, you know, he trusts the intelligence community. Yeah, but not the corrupt individuals because he's still calling them out. Yeah, so this whole, the whole thing that they're saying about Trump is, is, is a half-truth. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.